We've got one more coming up here, and that is from Dan, closing us out uh, from Ingest with two N's. Dan, um, thank you. It's a pleasure to see you again. I'll let you take it from here. Cool. Thanks, Dave. Uh, I, there we go. All right. Uh, hey, everyone. I'm Dan, co-founder of Ingest. I'm here to close it out. Uh, so thank you for hanging around this long. I hope to have some fun at the end right here. Um, there seems to be a common theme today right now I'm seeing with the last couple talks uh, about managing infrastructure and how painful it can be, right? And we totally agree with Ingest. We think that it's very painful. Uh, I definitely would be continuing that theme, but I'm going to be talking about a little bit more of a specific use case and a different approach to that, uh, that problem. So at the high level, what is Ingest? Ingest is a developer platform for creating, testing, and running reliable job uh, background jobs and workflows. So we're just going to start off talking about background jobs and workflows, right? Every application has them or will add them at some point, but we don't necessarily talk about the problems or the inefficiencies very often. So let's see. Yeah. So what are the problems? Uh, first, they're time consuming and frustrating experience for software teams. You can lose hours to weeks in the process of creating and testing and then shipping these these background functions or or, uh, or complex workflows. You know, it, it overall, just at the bottom line, it, it ends up being a time suck for engineering teams. It diverts your focus from delivering that new product value for your customers, right? Just because you set up this, this infrastructure, or these queuing systems or fine tuned everything doesn't, your customer doesn't care. You need to be shipping new product value. So they're also notoriously painful to develop and test on your own machine. So how are you even going to start building? It's very tedious. You had to set up new systems. Maybe there's some tooling out there, but all of it's pretty lackluster. And running queues and workers in your local development environment is just not fun. And the feedback loop is always very slow. So, you know, maybe you're using you know, test-driven development, which which could be great, but what happens when you want to test your entire app end to end? You click something in the UI and you want that database, that background job to run and everything to, to process. Uh, TDD doesn't work for that, so you still need a good setup. So, you know, as we talked, as other people have talked, deploying to production can be tedious, right? I gotta configure uh, queues, dead letter queues, I need to make sure that my redrive policies are correct. I need to launch new worker services, Maybe I need to fine tune polling or concurrency. Uh, maybe I don't have any logs to start. I need to add logging and then figure out how to get value out of that, those logs. So with a lot of companies, there ends up being like a handoff to an infrastructure team or, in, uh, or just an infrastructure engineer. And that consumes even more time, right? You have a handoff, you're bringing more people into the mix. And as I mentioned before, um, not every team, every company has a big DevOps or infrastructure team. So, you know, this is just, it's honestly, uh, it, it's, it's just pretty tedious affair. And bottom line, queues and event streams are fantastic tools, but they're low level. You still need to decide how your system will work with them or around them. And out of the box, they don't necessarily offer any support for complex workflows uh, you you have to build all that yourself and def decide how you're going to uh, how you're going to to build that system. So at the end of the day, it's it's lots of valuable time spent on zero to one, right? And you know it's developer time wasted, and that's probably the worst uh, spend that everyone has. That's the most valuable resource that that developer teams have these days. So that's what we're solving. We're the developer platform for creating, testing, and running reliable background jobs and workflows, right? So how does Ingest work? How are we helping developers with these problems? I'll just talk about how we work and how it's a little different. So let's say you already understand how background jobs all, all work. They wrote, usually there's a queue and a worker. We do something different here. So first, you define Ingest functions in your existing code base, right? You use our SDK. And you can see that on the right here. You don't need to look too closely, but there's some example code. And then you serve these functions via HTTP endpoint. So instead of having to run another service, basically open up an API for ingest to invoke these functions. So once your API is set up, 
you then uh, trigger functions in your applications by just sending events. You run ingest send with our SDK and things are off to the races. I'll get to that in, a, in, in, a, in just a second. And then after that event is received, we match up the event to your function and we in, invoke your function. We manage retries, state, and more. So this is just what this enables and you know, we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. Uh, so there's no workers, no polling. It's super simple. So again, here's this like high level fun diagram of like how ingest like a, a, a background job works. So it starts off with this event. Let's in this in this little example here, it's uh, a sign up uh, sign up endpoint in your in your application, and we send this event maybe user sign up go flies over to ingest. We immediately record it for event history so we can replay things later and do some really cool stuff with, with your logs of all events that we received. And then we process it in queue our jobs and execute the jobs by invoking via HTTP. So it just calls back to your same application. So you can even instrument things using a GraphQL plugin that you could find on, on the guild's website to easily send these events. So really, you're just defining these these functions in minimal uh, minimal code, and we just handle it the rest for you. So another another thing that this uh, HTTP uh, approach allows is that your jobs can run anywhere. I mean, your functions, yeah, can can run anywhere. It can run on your existing infrastructure, wherever your application is running, right next to your API. Same machine, same service, serverless, not server, serverless, doesn't matter. So, you know, this also allows you to configure, if it's just HTTP, it can run on serverless functions, it can run on long running servers, they can even run on edge functions. So if you had a special use case and you wanted to reduce cold boots, but you want to be able to have bursts, if you want to use edge, it doesn't matter. You can use that too. We run anywhere. And the last benefit is, you don't have to change your process. You don't need to adopt something else. You just keep your CI CD process. So now that you know how ingest works, let me just do a quick run through of the ingest stack and how, how our tools help you ship faster. Starting off, this is the ingest dev server. This is a complete local development experience that runs on your machine with one command. So you don't need to run any other dependencies. There's no other services that you need to orchestrate. Just a fully self-contained development environment for, for background jobs and workflows. Gives you immediate feedback through a web UI so you can see what's happening in these asynchronous processes behind the scene better than I think anything else that you've been able to see before. And you can retry jobs and it improves the developer feedback loop in lo local development. So you're speeding up that initial getting started flow. And then there's our SDK. And our SDK, I want to definitely call out, it works with Redwood right out of the box. It's easy to define background jobs and workflows. And at the top of the session, going way back, David talks about how Redwood helps minimize boilerplate and it helps reduce that for building applications. We couldn't agree more. And with our SDK, you can write those jobs without the boilerplate. And the simple primitives that you have, you can build simple things like what we see right here, a simple background job that sends a welcome email and then maybe adds a user to a CRM or you can do more complex things. And each step here that you see is automatically retried. So you can make sure that your code is reliable and you don't have to worry about jobs getting lost or things failing intermittently because of a third party API is down. So here's just another quick example about running things in parallel. So you can easily parallelize workloads. And if each if any one of those parallelized steps fails, we'll retry just that bit so that you don't need to start the job from the beginning. So it, it allows you to be super productive and run reliable background jobs and workflows. And here's a little buzzy thing for you. We also can solve some problems of chaining LLM calls. So sometimes these calls take a long time. Sometimes you want to take the output of an LLM and pipe it into something else. With ingest, that's super easy. You, we're all steps. We're workflow orchestration. It's, it's all done for you. It's easy to do. And lastly, this piece of the ingest stack is the ingest platform. This is the fully managed platform that replaces 
any legacy queues and workers. Everything is handled for you. Con managing concurrency, rate limiting, back offs, scheduling, job cancellation. And you get metrics out of the box. Logs, you can are included and you can jump right through them and find exactly where your failures are so you can fix them quickly. So there's no need, need to manage queues and workers anymore and try to find insight. It's taken care of you and every developer on your team can have access to this amazing insight. And just a little quick thing here with Redwood, you can get started in, with one command, just this little thing. In seconds, you'll have an ingest function set up. Uh, thanks to the uh, some of the Redwood uh, core maintainers that that helped uh, hack on this and 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 work work with us on this. So that's that's a wrap. Thanks for letting me talk to you about ingest, and uh, hopefully you're intrigued. Very intrigued. Thanks, Dan. Uh, it's been a pleasure to see the uh, community uh, take hold of Ingest. 